Good day to you all, Ham Jam here, and welcome to the Project Set Guy Songs tier list. This uh, was updated March 16th, so two days ago, so it should be pretty up to date unless any songs have come out in the last two days. Now, before we get started with the tier list, I did want to say a few things. First off, thank you all so much for 400 subscribers. That was a great thing to wake up to and find out today. Uh, it's such a wonderful achievement for this channel, and I thank you all uh, for being a part of this channel, for supporting me, and for being a part of this community. It means a lot to me. Second off, my streaming schedule. I'll be getting back to streaming in May, because my university's Wi-Fi does not let me stream. So when I go home for the summer in May and afterwards, since I'll be living off campus, I'll be able to stream pretty regularly. So I will get back to streaming in May, we'll do some collabs with you guys, and you guys will have a chance to get back on the stream. Uh, third off, I posted the link to my Discord server in my community post from earlier today. If you'd like to join, we have a lot of fun there, you are welcome to, just come check out that community post. And uh, before we begin, I just wanted to say that I've already put the songs I'm neutral about or have no opinion about in their category because I don't want to waste your use your time I, by sitting there and being like, hey, uh, I don't know what to say about this song. So I, and of course, I can't really know every song in the game really, really well. So I apologize for those of you who wanted to hear about the songs that are listed here, but these are the songs that I am neutral about or have no opinion about. So, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? We're going to start off with good old Tell Your World. Tell Your World is the first song you hear when you start playing the game. It is a good old, just classic Migu song. Uh, it's in the key of E flat. It's very wholesome. It's very sweet. And uh, it's very simple, honestly. It's a song that a lot of people could go around humming, but I myself personally couldn't. Keep in mind, these are all my opinions. These are not based off of anything in particular, but my own personal likes and dislikes. So Tell Your World, let's put it in the like tier, because I don't dislike it, but I don't adore it either. All right, next we're gonna talk about Roki. Roki is a Leonid song. Uh, it kind of fits their rock vibe. I like it a lot. I like the MV where the girls are just jamming out, playing their instruments. It's a really great song. Uh, but it also isn't one I would go around singing in my car or when I'm walking or something like that. But I definitely don't dislike it. So it is also going to go in the like tier. Next we're going to talk about Teo. Now Teo I absolutely love. Uh, I say that but it's not going to go in the absolutely love tier. For the reason that... Uh, the vocals are kind of what puts the song down a notch for me. Now they sound great, I just think the the background instrumentals are what make the song the song. They're very upbeat, you could just do air guitar to it and they're just, they just sound really really great. So for that I'm going to put it in the strongly liked tier. Alright, now this song I believe is Hibana Reloaded, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Uh, it's just never really stuck out to me as anything. And I'm not really neutral about it either. I just don't like it that much, so we're gonna put it in the dislikes here. Now, Happy Synthesizer, it was, uh, besides Tell Your World, it was the first song I ever played when I started playing Project Sekai back in September. It was the first song I played. And I just remember it being so peppy, so happy with the idols dancing in the background. It's a wonderful song. It's, uh, I love the key change towards the end. I love the choreography and the MV. It's just, it's really great, honestly, but it's not enough to go in the strongly liked tier, so I'm gonna put it in the liked tier. All right, now we're gonna talk about, uh, forgive me if I pronounce this incorrectly, Nostalogic. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, now, Nostalogic, it is, I'm a little biased because it is in my favorite two keys. Um, I don't like the uh, tuning on the Vocaloid in the song. I don't remember which Vocaloid it is. Uh, I believe it's either Miku or Mako. Maybe Luca, I'm not sure. Uh, if you guys know, feel free to let me know down below. But uh, Nostalogic, I don't like the tuning of the Vocaloid on the song, but it is very, it's very easy to dance to. It seems like it would be a song you would play at like a disco She's like, it would be a song you play, like a little disco dance or something like that. I like the song, but I don't strongly like it or love it. So I'm going to put it in the like tier. 
Now we're gonna talk about Charles. Now I'm slightly biased because this is the only level 23 song I haven't been able to full combo on EN, but that's not going to change my opinion of the song here. So Charles is also in the key of E flat. Uh, I love how it shows off Mizuki and I believe Ana is the other person. I love how it shows off their both their higher ranges and their lower ranges. It's a great combination, but though I don't dislike the song, it's not a song I would listen to a lot. It's just not something that really stood out to me, though it is a wonderful night chord song, so we're also going to put it in the like tier. Next we're going to talk about Bring It On. Now Bring It On is a great is a great song sung by the Kagamines and I believe it is also the Vivids. Uh, it's a great song. I like that it kind of fits into the VBS category, the Vivids category especially, but there's not really that much to say about it, and I don't know it as well as I probably should have, though I did do a lot of research before making this video. So we're gonna put it in, actually I'm going to put it in the neutral tier, because I kind of missed over that one, honestly. Alright, so Dr. Funk Beat, uh, I haven't heard the original of this song, but the cover I just really don't like. It's just... Though the vocals are good, just the song itself is not something I like. Of course, I won't say I strongly dislike it because I don't, but it's just not something I just enjoy listening to, so we're just going to put it in the dislike tier. Naburiki no, Naburiki no dance, dansu, Buriki no dance. Uh, this is a song I just heard recently. I like it. Uh, it is a good song and I like the vocals in it, there's not really much else to say about it, honestly, so we'll put it in the like tier. Next we have Sweet Magic. Now, Sweet Magic is a really sweet song about uh, friendship, about baking a cake, uh, somewhat like that. Like, uh, There's a similar song like that in a childhood cartoon, and it kind of reminded me of that childhood cartoon. Uh, I like it. It is definitely a good song. It's really sweet, but it is also not the type of song I would just jam out to, so I'm going to put it in the like tier. Next we have Melt. Uh, now, unfortunately, though it's a good song, I've never really been a fan of it. I just don't think uh, it's done as well as it could have been. It's too long, it just drags on, in my opinion. Uh, and I don't like the little da 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 I think that's a little weird, kind of, it's a little sharp, her series a little bit. So I'm gonna put it in the dislike tier. <sighs> and here we are at the disappearance of Hatsune Miku. Honestly, who could jam to the beginning part of this song? Because it's, it's like, not, it's not, uh, it's just too fast, honestly. <laughs> like, you can't even, like, decipher what she's saying. If someone has made a cover of this song, like, at all, I would be genuinely impressed. Now, I do like the middle part of this song, where she's singing a bit slower, but... It's nowhere near my favorite, honestly, so I'm gonna put it in the dislike. Alright, we're on to Blessing. Now, Blessing is a cute song sung by the vocaloids who are- all the vocaloids who are characters in the game. And I like it. Uh, I like the modulation in the song, I like how each vocaloid gets a chance to shine. Uh, it's really sweet, and it's really nice to listen to. Uh, very wholesome, and so for that, I'm gonna put it in the like tier. Next, we have The World Hasn't Even Started Yet. Uh, the World Hasn't Even Started Yet was the first song that Wonderland Showtime sang together in terms of their main story. Uh, it's good, it's really good, uh, but it also isn't one that like stood out to me in general. Uh, it's a great use of it's a great use of each member's uh, talent in terms of their vocals. Uh, I'm not sure which vocaloid- I don't think a vocaloid sings this song with them. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. But it is a good song, so I'm gonna put it in the like tier. Next we have Ready Steady. Now we move on to the first song that BBS sang together in terms of their main story. So this was the song I've been trying to AP, and I finally did recently. <laughs> So, but moving on from that, uh, I do like this song. Uh, each member gets a chance to shine here too, though it's mainly the Vivids, not not as much the Bad Dogs. Uh, it's a good song. It's very upbeat. Uh, you're definitely able to dance to it. You're able to dance to most of VBS's music, but 
it never really stood out to me either, though I do enjoy the song, so I'm putting it in the like tier. Next we have good old Newly Edgy Idols. Now this song is absolutely adorable. <laughs> My favorite thing to do, honestly, is to put a bunch of random people in the 3D MV and have them dance around like idols, especially if they're not in More More Jump. It's just absolutely awesome. Uh, most of More More Jump's songs are really sweet. They're really awesome. Uh, so I like the song a lot. And so for that, I'm gonna put it in the strongly liked tier. Next, we have Composing the Future, I believe is what this one is. If I get any of these wrong, feel free to tell me, but I'm going to view this as Composing the Future. Uh, composing the Future, I'm okay with, honestly. It uh, is nowhere near one of my favorite Night Chord songs. It's not, it's not a song that I think should be in like a top one, like if someone were to do a top list, I don't think the song should be on there. I like the vibe of the song, I like the MV, but other than that, it's not really that special uh, to me, it never really stood out, so I'm gonna put it in the neutral category. Now we have ne Needle, 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 uh, however you want to pronounce it. <laughs> I just view it as the band's. Now this song is a good song. Uh, it's a great use of the band's instrumental and vocal talents. Uh, there's other than that though, there's not really too much to say about it, so I'm gonna put it in the like category. Next we have Hello How Are You. I absolutely adore this song. It's very, it's very very sad, but it's very very uplifting at the same time about this girl who is, feels alone and asks why she feels alone. and tells just tells a story about it and uh it's in the key of e major which is a very happy key it often makes me cry when i listen to it uh this song is just a wonderful great song to listen to so for that i'm putting it in the absolutely love category next we have jisho mushoku i forgot what the translation of this song is in english uh, feel free to let me know if you know this song this song uh it's very slow, uh, it's got a lot of swung-ish swung rhythms uh, for you music people, uh, dotted 8th, 16th rhythms, there's a lot of those in here. Uh, but I don't really like the vibe of it, honestly. I think there are much better night chord songs, I think it's a bit boring, so for that I'm gonna put it in the dislikes here. Next we have Fragile. Uh, which is one of the few songs that is sung by the Bad Dogs and no Vocaloid. That's why I, that's what I like about this song. Uh, I like the boys in their middle range. Uh, they both have spectacular middle ranges, so it's great to listen to them. Though this is not a song that stood out to me either, except for that reason. So for that, I'm going to put it in the like tier. Next we have Patchwork Staccato, which is one of my favorite songs in the game, but I have heard some more recently that have topped it. Patchwork Staccato, uh, I actually do like the cover better than I like th the cover that's in the game, better than I like the original. So I think that this shows off uh, Idy and She's a good super low range, and as well as their higher range, and they just get to go all over the place with this song, and the meaning of the song is kind of conveyed perfectly. It's dark, but it's conveyed in a happyish manner by the idols, and I think it's pretty perfect. But I don't absolutely love it, so I'm putting it in the strongly liked tier. Next we have Sekai, which is sung by the group leaders, and I think Miku as well. Uh, it's very enjoyable to listen to. It's very just it's a very nice song talking about the world. I don't remember when exactly this song came out. I think it was a while ago, probably, because it's got part of the name of the game in it. And I think it's a great addition of all the group leaders. But personally, it never really stood out to me, so I'm putting it in the like tier, because I do like it. Next we have Wa Wa World, which has the Minori Kohane and I think Miku as well. Uh, I like that they have a song with both Minori and Kohane because they're the like the super high-pitched voices, like the cuter voices, and I think that it was good that somebody finally put them together because that's not uh, what I would have expected. Uh, this is a very wholesome song. I love when like Kohane does her little rap-ish part. It's very cute. So for that, I'm putting it in the light tier. 
Next we have Your Adventure Log Has Vanished, which is Tsukasa, Emu, and a couple of Vocaloids. Uh, I love how like 8-bit-like this song is. It's great to listen to. I'm not sure the exact plot of it, but it is truly a wonderful song to listen to. So for that, I'm going to put it in the, the like tier. Next we have Alive, which is a Rin solo song. This one is a bit faster, and the master chart is not easy to clear, but that of course has nothing to do with the song itself. So, I think it's a great use of Green's uh, vocals. I like the way she's tuned on the song. It's really, really great. Uh, so for that, I'm putting it in the like tier. Now, I believe this is Night Sky Patrol of Tomorrow. I'm going to use it as it is. So Night Sky Patrol of Tomorrow, I think, I uh, know Ichika is the main focus of this song. Uh, she gets to hit some really high notes in this song. It's really sweet to listen to. Uh, I love a lot of Leonid songs like that with Ichika focus because she just has some great vocals. But of course this one never really stood out to me either, so I'm putting it in the light tier. Next we have Mir, which is, I know Haruka's in this song, I think Minori is also in this song. Um, this song allows them to show off their, or Minori to show off her lower range, and whenever Minori and Kohane get to go in their lower ranges, it is really special because of like how high pitched their voices are. It's super impressive how the voice actors can do that. But I'm kind of neutral on this song, honestly, because I'm not sure. Just it didn't stand out to me, but it's also not something I really enjoy. So I'm putting the neutral tier. Just Be Friends is another great song, On and Kohane. I love On and Kohane's vocals, I love how they sound together, and this is a perfect mix of perfect mix of their vocals. I'm not sure if a Vocaloid sings this or not, uh, but I think it's a I think it's a pretty good song, so we're putting it in the light tier. Next we have Law of Hating Rock, and oh my goodness, this took me so long to full combo. Uh, Law of Aiding Rock is a good song. It's a good song, but in my opinion, if we're talk if we're not talking about whether or not I like it or not, but in terms of whether or not I like it or not, I actually kind of don't. I just don't. I don't like lens tuning. I. I just I don't really like the beat of the song. I don't like the rhythms of it. So I'm gonna put in the dislike too. Next we have Hated by Life itself, which I think is a wonderful, wonderful song. Uh, Kanade does an incredible job with this song. I really, really like it. Uh, the meaning of it just hits so hard, and it's just great. So I'm gonna put it in the strongly liked tier. Next we have World Is Mine, which is the first ever Vocaloid song I listened to. So I can't put it in the strongly dislike or dislike tier. But, uh, it's a good song. The tuning on Miku is good. Uh, it's got like a sassy beat to it, and of course the character who is singing is sassy, so it kind of fits perfectly. So for that, I'm going to put it in the like tier. Next we have Dance Robot Dance, which is a great song that is sung by uh, the main singers. The main focus is being Emu and Nene. Uh, they, are both, they both have very high-pitched voices. They're both sopranos, so... Uh, this is this song ends up being really cute. I haven't seen the 3D MV for it yet, but I do like the song after having listened to it. So for that, I'm gonna put it in the like tier. Next we have Hand in Hand, uh, which is a good Miku song. Uh, her tuning is pretty good. There's not really that much else to say about it though. I kind of missed over this one when I was singing in the neutrals, so I'm gonna put it in the neutral category. I believe this is Yobanashi Detective. I'm going to treat it as if it is. If it isn't, that's okay. We're just going to treat it as it is. Uh, this song, I like. Moving on. <laughs> uh, Gimme Gimme is the opposite of a wholesome song, but it's very, it's very bouncy, very easy to dance to. Uh, I like the vocals in it, so we're going to put it in the likes here. Next we have Viva Happy, which is another one that the idols sing. It's very cute. I like it a lot. Uh, it's got a lot of different moods in it, though. Like, not in terms of happy or sad. More in terms of, like, okay, we have this bit, 
where they're singing Mike okay we've got the Viva happy part we've got the part in the middle kind of like an A section and a B section but it's really it's a really great song I like it more than I thought I would so I'm gonna put it in the strong good like next we have oh goodness I get this mixed up okay Jimmy Nighttown Orchestra this is a this song ah I don't really like that much. A lot of people do. I like the what it's about, but I don't like the song itself. So for that, I'm putting it on slide too. Next, we have Miracle Paint, which is a really cute WXS song that I think that I think definitely deserves to be in the like tier, just for how cute it is in general. So we'll put it in the like tier. Next, we have On the Rocks, which is a great use of Mako and Kaito's vocals. I don't like the tuning on Kaito in this song, but I do like the tuning on Mako, and I think the two of them together is just great. Uh, I like it, so I'm gonna put it in the like tier. Now, Cell Phone Love Story, I'm kind of neutral on, honestly. Like, it's, I know Mizuki sings in it, I'm not, I don't fully remember who the other person is, but I do really like what the song is about, so I'm going to put it in the like tier. Next we have 39 music. Now this song is adorable. The Miku, the tuning on Miku just makes it absolutely adorable. <laughs> and especially when she's like, funky music, die, 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 die. And it's just, because 39 is her number. It's just, it, it's kind of a representation of Hatsune Miku herself. And I think it kind of works perfectly. It's very upbeat, easy to dance to. So we're putting it in the light tier. Aoku Kakero, I cannot full combo for the life of me, but... <laughs> Uh, it's a wonderful song. I like it a lot. Uh, I know Miku sings in it. I love her tuning. Uh, it's really good, so I'm gonna put it in the like tier. Next we have Stella, which is kind of... I don't really know what to say about it. Like, it's a good song. It really is. I love that it's kind of Leonid's main focus, even though it's technically not in their main story. I think it's a great addition to their repertoire, so I'm going to put it in the like tier. Uh, now this one, Leia Reminds, I am kind of neutral and I kind of missed over this one as well, so I'm going to put it in the neutral tier. Alright, now we have Jackpot Sad Girl, which I also can't full combo for the life of me on Expert. Uh, this song, I love the piano in it, I love the, the syncopation, I love the triplets, it's all just... It all fits for a kind of sad but angry song at the same time, saying like, hey, I feel like I'm confined by these strings. I feel like just all these different things that is kind of difficult to say right now. Uh, but I really, really like this song, so I'm putting it in the strongly liked tier. Alright, now we have Melty Land Nightmare, which I think is a great use of the vocals provided. Um, I don't really know what the song is about, but having played it a couple times, I have heard it, and I think it's a really good song. Uh, but not enough to put in strongly like, so I'm gonna put it in like. Next we have Otome Dai's section. Now, what I like most about this song is that what it's about is actually a little creepy, but the way it's portrayed is kind of just content, if, if you will. It just feels like the singers are content in what they're saying, and that's kind of why I like it. Less the less the beat of the song and the rhythm of the song but I think it's really good so I'm putting it oops where did it go ah my bad I don't know where it went it should go in the like tier though I have no idea what happened to it <laughs> oh it's in the neutral tier no absolutely not like tier Next we have Becoming Potatoes, which is also one of my favorite songs in the game. I love the use of the canes, I love what it's about, I love that it's about making mistakes. Uh, this song I very, very strongly like. Uh, I think I absolutely love it, so I'm gonna put it in that tier. Next we have Rolling Girl. Uh, and I wish there was a cover made on this, honestly. I really do, because the song is great, even with just Miku singing. But I think if there was a cover made of it, then it would have been significantly better. Uh, but I still like the song a lot. I like just the rhythm. I like how it sounds in general. So I'm going to put it in the like tier. Next we have Dakaramoto. <laughs> 
the song is great. Uh, it was so much fun to make a cover of. It's so fun, so bouncy, so lighthearted, just like a lot of the Idol songs are. And though it is kind of in sync with the most of the repertoire they sing, I still like it a lot. So we're gonna put it in the the light. Uh, next we have Two Faced Lovers, which is one of my favorite original Vocaloid songs. I like it a lot, and I'm kind of glad there wasn't a cover made for this, because I've heard a cover of this, and though it was really good, uh, the, the singing is just a little too fast for a lot of people to cover, so it ends up sounding rushed and hurried, uh, which is kind of the point of this song, but nonetheless, I just think the original is better, so we're gonna put this in the strongly liked tier. Next we have Unknown Mother Goose, which I think is kind of creepy, honestly. It just sounds a little ominous. I'm not sure why, and I'm, I don't think a lot of people would agree with me, but I like it for that. So I'm gonna put it in the like tier. Next we have, uh, I forget what the Japanese song for this, J Japanese name for this song is, but I know the English name is Because You're Here. Uh, I don't like the tuning on Miku for this, but I do like the song itself. I like the music for the song. It's good. Putting it in the light tier. Moving on. So this is here is Tale of the Deep Sea Lily, and I honestly, a lot of people are probably not going to agree with me. I don't like this song. Uh, this was one of the top songs on a uh, list in a video I watched, but I, I don't like the song that much. I don't really find something, I didn't really find anything special about it, and I just, it's not fun to listen to for me. Something in the dislike tier. Next we have Forward, uh, which I also can't full combo for the life of me. Uh, I think Forward is a good song. Uh, most VBS songs I think are good, but honestly, I'm gonna put it in the neutral tier. This is, I just, it's one of the, it's one of the worst, uh, the, the, not worst, but like one of the, not one of my favorites, we'll say that. Now we have Hitorimbo Envy, and honestly, I'm going to put this in the dislike tier, because I so, so wish that they would have used a better, like, a longer or the full version in Project Sekai, because the version they use in Project Sekai is just dull, honestly. It's just, it's very uninteresting. Of course, the what the song is about is great, but the way it's portrayed is just very uninteresting. And honestly, the same goes with Nijido's stories. It's also very dull, very uninteresting in my opinion. It's I love uh, who, the pairing of Lui and Nene. Uh, I love that they're singing together with the vocaloids, but I just think it's a little dull and uninteresting, so I'm putting in the dislike. Let me make sure of something. Okay, now this song... I forget what it's called, but I remember what it sounds like. And I know that the use of Miku's vocals here are quite good, so I'm going to put it in the like tier. Next we have Dramaturgy. Uh, I probably didn't pronounce that right. Dramaturgy, uh, I'm going to put it in the like tier simply for what it's about uh, and the way the song is portrayed. I think that's very good. Next we have Love Trial. Which is one of my favorite Mo One Job songs, and that's because just I'm not really sure how to describe it, but honestly, it just sounds really freaking good. So I'm gonna put it in the strongly liked tier. Next we have Hello Planet. Uh, never been the biggest fan of this song. Uh, it's portrayed really well in my opinion, but I've just never really been a big fan of it, so I'm gonna strongly dislike. Senmon Zakura is also one of my favorite Vocaloid songs. I'm glad it didn't get a cover either, uh, because I really, really like the original of it. I like it a lot. I think it's really good, but not enough to go in strongly like, so we're gonna put it in the like tier. Next we have Echo, uh, and I'm glad this did get a cover, even though the Gumi version, her being my favorite Vocaloid and all, is really good. <laughs> so I'm... I think that even though the entirety of VBS is singing in a language that's for that's foreign to them, I think they do a great job at it. Like a really great job. And though I don't like the song itself that much, for that, I'm putting it in the light too. Next we have Chudoria Chudoria Da Da Da, which is also 
I'm not sure it's on my top 10 list anymore like it used to be, but it's definitely up there. It's a good song. Uh, I forgot this one was here, so I'm gonna put it in the No Opinion song because I forgot about it. Um, I do like Chudodia Chudodia da 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 da. It's, such, it's a long title, it's a long song, but it's a lot of fun to listen to. It really is. So I'm gonna put it in Strongly Like. Next we have Totomoi Tai Itagari Tai. This, I love this song. I love it. Uh, it's about hurting, it's about pain, asking why you're hurting, and the minor key yet upbeat nature just kind of does it. I think it's a great song, but not enough to put in absolutely love, so I'll put it in strongly like. Oh goodness. <laughs> I forgot about this song. I forgot how much I liked this song. Uh, I don't remember it being in the EN version, but... Uh, so I don't know the exact title of it, but I remember listening to it and just thinking, wow, let's go. So I'm gonna put it in the lights here. All right, next we have, I believe this is World's End Dance Hall. I like that this is kind of a waltzy song, and though I don't really like the tuning and how high it is, I like the waltz style of it. It kind of makes me imagine a dance hall, honestly. It just, it's just how it is. So we're gonna put it in the lights here. All right, now, I honestly don't like this song at all. I don't like the tuning. I know a lot of people that I've talked to would not agree with me on that. I just, I really, really, really don't like it. So I'm putting it in strongly dislike. I just don't like it. <laughs> now, Color of Drops, uh, though I think there are a lot better and more, more jump songs out there. Uh, I love how sweet this song is. I love that it, it can, br it brought me to tears the first time I heard it, though. Being someone who loves music as much as I do, a lot of music can bring me to tears. <laughs> but I think it's a great song. Honestly, I'm going to put it in Strongly Like. Alright, next we have Rad Dogs. And I've honestly never really been a fan of this song, shockingly. There's very few VBS songs that I'm just not a fan of. And this is one of them. So we're putting it in the dislike tier. I believe this is Milk Crown on Sonechka. Uh... This is a good song, but I'm honestly kind of neutral about it because there are a lot of things I don't like about it, so we'll put it in the neutral tier. Next we have Time Machine, which is, oh, it's such a sweet song. I love that Saki kind of gets a chance to shine in this song, uh, like she deserves. I think this is perfect, this is perfect for Leonid and for that. Oops, no, I don't dislike it. <laughs> Ignore that. Uh, we're gonna put it in the strongly liked tier. Next we have Drop Pop Candy, which is on and Kohane, and this is kind of, this one I kind of associate with Dance Robot Dance. I'm not sure why, but I just do. They kind of sound similar to me. Uh, I do like this song a lot though, so we're going to put it in the like tier because I don't strongly like it, but I do like it. Next we have Positive Dance Time, which I think is really sweet, but I've never really liked listening to the song. I find it kind of a little scratchy that's kind of the best word i can think of for it it's a little strange uh but it's not bad so i'll put it in the neutral tier because i'm neutral on it next we have brand new day which i've never been a fan of i don't really like the tuning on miku i know i say that a lot but it's kind of hard to get a good tuning on her honestly so for that i'm gonna put it in the dislike tier i believe this is close to gray and I like Close to Grey a lot. I love the kind of, the shouting style of the singing. I like it a lot. I think it's great. So for that, we're putting it in the like tier. Next we have Once Upon a Dream, the Kona. Die, 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 da, 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 da. Um, I do like the song. This is another one where uh, both the girls and the guys really get a chance to shine. Uh, I think it works really well for what the song is, and I think it was given to the best group possible, so for that it's going in the light tier. Next we have Boca de la Verita, which I used to not like at all, honestly. Like, and there are still a lot of flaws about it that are going to make me not put it in the strongly liked tier, but uh, there's a lot of good things about it. Uh, Mafuyo and Mizuki do a great job singing this song. Uh, the piano in the middle is great. The instrumentals are great. Uh, I wish a better 
uh, clipped version was included. I like that the cover changed keys, though a lot of people like the original better. I do like this song, but unfortunately there are a lot of things that are preventing me from putting it in strongly like, so. Next we have Miku Miku ni Shite Ageru, which I've never really been a fan of. Not much else to say about it, <laughs> going in the dislike tier. Ah, the time has come. We are at Ifudodo. Now, this song is very controversial to a lot of people, as is the song directly below it, which we'll talk about later. Uh, but I like the beat a lot. I'm not really going to talk about the theme of it because that is controversial. So, but I like it. I like the beat. I like the th uh, how the vocals are. So we're putting in the light here. Next we have from Y to Y. Uh, I honestly, I thought this was a more more jump song because I thought I heard Shizuku at first, but it is actually a Leonid song. And as always, guys, feel free to correct me on anything. If I'm wrong, I will take it. Um, but this is, this is a good song. It's slow paced. It's very slow paced, but it's good. So I'm putting it in the light tier. Next we have, oh goodness, we have the intense voice. Uh, now... <laughs> You all may find this strange, but I actually like this song. Uh, it sounds kind of video game-like. Uh, it's just... Even the fast part, it kind of just drives me to, like, press all those fast notes as quickly as I can. I like it, but I don't strongly like it, so I'm putting it in the like tier. Next we have, I believe this is Angel's Clover. Uh, there's a lot of great things about this song, but unfortunately, I've never really been a fan of it, so it's going in the dislike tier. Next we have As You Like It. Now, As You Like It is a very good song by WXS. Uh, I like how the guys get to show off their mid to high range, as do the girls. Um, not really much else to say about it, but it's definitely going in the like tier. Next we have Dream in Choo Choo. Uh, which I'm kind of neutral on because there are a lot of things I don't like about it and a lot of things I do like about it. Uh, and I think they kind of cancel each other out, so we're going to put it in the neutral no opinion tier. Next we have ID Smile. Uh, I do like this song. I like the range that Night Chord gets to go to. I like, uh, I think it's Luca's involvement in the song. Might be Mako. It's one of the two, I know that for sure. Uh, whichever one it is, great tuning job on them. The song is just good. It's it's really good. So we're putting in the light here. Next we have one. Oh man, this song and Ichika and Shiho's vocals. I think this is one of the songs that make them sound the best that they do in the whole game. Uh, it's just really really great. And though the beat is not like incredible in my opinion the vocals just make this song enough to go in the strongly liked tier next we have into the night now this song is really sweet uh, i love that kanade and miku sing it together i love kanade's like quiet uh but kind of refined voice i like it uh but the song unfortunately can only go in the like tier because nothing really stood out to me Next we have Ghost City Tokyo, and this is a very good use of uh, the Bad Dogs' high range. I'm not, I don't remember which Vocaloid sings it with them, but I like it. I really do. So it's going in the light tier. Next we have Cinema, and honestly, to be quite frank with you all, I don't really understand why people love this song. I mean, I like it. It is a good VBS song. But I just don't really get what, like, stands out to so many people. If this is, like, one of your favorite songs, feel free to let me know. But I like it. It's definitely a good song. So we're putting it in the like tier. Next we have, oh boy, Left Side, Right Side. Uh, I wish this song was longer. I feel like it had a lot of potential that it just didn't quite live up to. But it's a good song. I like Tsukasa and Rui together. Uh, the combina the pair of them just does an incredible job whenever they sing together. And I think this is enough to at least go in the light tier. Next we have I Know Material. Uh, and honestly, I like Love Trial a lot better than I like this song. This is a good song. I like what this is about. I like the girls' vocals. But I like... Uh, I like Love Trial a lot better than this song. 
so I'm only going to put it in the neutral tier. Next we have Do Not Go, and to be quite honest, not a fan. Uh, this is a good song uh, in terms of just how it's composed and how it's portrayed, but I just don't like it. Like, I just feel like it just could have been a significant amount better, so I'm putting it in the dislike tier. Remember, these opinions are my own, so... Alright, moving on to this song, Romeo and Cinderella, which is also very controversial, so I won't talk about the team. Uh, this is the one where the rare pairs get a chance to shine, and who can ignore that, right? Uh, I think it's a really great idea and she's a good piece. I think they both sound great in it, so I'm putting it in the light tier because I do like the song. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Next we have this song here, and I forget what its actual title is, but after having listened to it, I can say- I can firmly say that I do like it, so I'm putting it in the like tier. Alright, and now we're on to Tone Demo Wonders. Uh, Tone Demo Wonders is a really great song where all of WXS gets a chance to shine. Uh, I love what it's about, I love the music, I love the rhythms, I just love the song in general. So, it's gotta go and absolutely love, without a doubt. Next we have Kanade Tomo Susura. And while I think the song is good, uh, I don't really like the pace of it, honestly. It's definitely a good song though, but I am neutral about it, so that's where I'm going to put it. Next we have Traffic Jam, and I, what I what I like the most about this song is that it actually kind of sounds like a traffic jam. It's like, you can really visualize it in your head when you hear this song. I like the kind of rapping style that VBS gets to do here, so I'm gonna put this in the like tier. Oops, there we go. Alright, next we have From Tokyo, which was the first level 24 song I full comboed. Uh, so I played through this song a lot. I like the modulation in it. It's got two different sections and I like both of them. Uh, but it's definitely not enough to go in the strongly like tier, so I will put it simply in the like tier. Next we have Beat Eater. Uh, Beat Eater is also, in my opinion, one of the BBS songs that I think could have done a bit better, but I don't dislike it, so I'm putting it in the neutral category. Next we have Six Trillion Years and Overnight Story. The plot of the song is what does it for me. The cover, I think I like the original better than I like the cover, but the cover is really good. I like how you can dance to the instrumental part of the song, easy peasy. And I just like the song a lot, so I'm going to put it in the strongly liked tier. Next we have, oh goodness, Chiku Saigo. Uh, I know what the title of the song is, but I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. No, Kakuhaku. So, Kokuhaku. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> now, this is a really good song. Uh, the cover art enough will tell you that this is gonna be a good song. I like it, so I'm gonna put it in the light tier. Next, we have. Uh, I love the MV for this. I think it's really great. I love the kind of creepy style of this. I think it kind of fits Night Chord really well. So for that, I'm putting it in the like tier. Need I say more? Sorry, Sona Ta fans. I, I don't like that song at all. Anyways, here is Kagero Daze. This is, er, oh goodness, I probably pronounced that wrong, excuse me if I did, but I'm neutral on this song, I don't really have very many thoughts about it, so it's going in the neutrals here. Next we have Ice Drop, I could say the same for that, honestly. Next we have Glory Steady Go. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this song is Emu Screaming, that's enough to put it down from the absolutely loved tier to the strongly liked tier, but... I love it, especially the what do you want to do and what do you like part. It's just really great. Next we have Children Record. Uh, I like this song. I like the instrumentals used in it. I like the vocals used in it, but it's nothing too special to me, so I'll just put it in the like tier. 
next we have Magic Number, which I've never really been a fan of. Sorry, Torius BA, who composed this song. Uh, I just, I've never really been the biggest fan of it. Something that disliked here. I believe this is Pulse of the Meteor. Yeah, Pulse of the Meteor. Uh, I'm a little biased because of how difficult this chart is, but I won't let that influence. Uh, this song is, it's good. It's good, but I just have to put it in the neutral category. Next we have Cutlery. Uh, I like what the song is about. I like the quiet style of the vocals. I don't like the little duck noises though. It's probably not supposed to be a duck, but it sounds like a duck to me. But I'm still going to put it in the like tier uh, because duck noises can't bring it down. <laughs> Next we have Reborn. Now a lot of people don't like this song, but I really do. I really like this song. Uh, I think even though it's got a slow pace, I think it kind of fits the name perfectly. It kind of sounds like a rebirth happening. So for that, I'm going to put it in the light tier. Next we have Gunjo Saka. Uh, this is also a great use of the group leaders. Uh, Tsukasa's cover of this song is my favorite just because of how high he goes. It's incredibly impressive to me. Uh, but this is a very good, very wholesome song. So I'm going to put it in the light tier. Next we have Lost Ones Weeping, which was also one of my first Vocaloid songs. Uh, I like this song a lot. I do like the original better than I like the cover, but the cover is certainly not bad. So for that, I'm going to put it in the strongly liked tier. Next we have Machine Gun Poet Doll. I don't like this song, but I don't strongly dislike it. So it's going in the dislike tier. Next we have Venom. Uh, I really like this song. I like that it's kind of, I like that it's like angry, but it's still upbeat because a lot of Night Gourd songs are not upbeat and I think this does a really good job of just portraying how, how Mizuki, Mizuki, excuse me, and Anna can sound together. I think they're a great pairing and for that I'm putting it in the strongly liked tier. Next we have uh, Heike Doppelganger. <laughs> I like what the song is about, but the song itself, in my opinion, is not that great, so I'll put it in the neutrals here. Next we have Telecaster B-Boy. Uh, Telecaster B-Boy, Bokuni Anto. I don't actually know the lyrics of this song, but it's a great use of all of WXS and Len as well. I don't like the Len interlude in the middle, I think that's a little strange, but it's definitely a good song, so for that I'm going to put it in the light tier. Next we have Tokyo Funka. Tokyo Funka, excuse me. Uh, I've always wanted to say Tokyo Funka. Uh, this song I actually didn't know until recently when I listened to it, and I think this song is incredible. I love uh, Gumi going down into the Lorenz, the da da da. It's awesome. It's very. Uh, I I don't really know how to put this. It sounds very like in like in the Asian culture, like. I don't know, really know how to put that. There's really no other way to put it. Uh, I like the instruments used, and Gumi does a great job. I've heard a lot of covers of this, and they're all great. But the original is great, too. So for that, we're putting in the strongly likes here. Next we have this song, and I forget what it's actually called, but I know it's a BBS song. Uh, this song is okay. I think it's a little high. It's a little squeaky. Uh, so for that, I'm putting it in the dislike tier. Next we have I Want to Be Your Heart, which I think is another great use of Gumi's vocals. Uh, if there, I think it would be cool to hear a cover of this, but the original is great too. So we're putting it in the like tier. Marshmary is another one that I think is a little too squeaky. Uh, I think it could have been done... I think the original might have been better in place of the cover here, but I don't dislike it, so I'll put it in the neutral tier. Now, Butterfly on Your Right Shoulder is one of my favorite Lynn solo songs. Uh, it's so it's so awesome to listen to, even when I was struggling to full combo it. It was just so great to listen to that I could just do it over and over again. So for that, I'm going to put it in the strongly liked tier. Next we have Ray, and the music video for this is so great, as is the song, honestly. It's a great Leonid song, and I like it a lot, so we're putting it in the strongly liked tier. Next we have Hello World, and I like this song, but I don't strongly like it. 
so we're gonna put it in the like tier. Next we have this song I forgot. Oh yeah, Sick of House. Okay, it took me a minute. Uh, this is a good song. I like the Reen and Len combination. I think the two of them sounding together always sound really good. So for that, we're putting it in the like tier. Next we have uh, Showtime Ruler, which is great. Oh, this song is so good. I absolutely love it. I love the vocals, I love the instrumentals, I love the beat. It's just a wonderfully composed, wonderfully portrayed song. Next we have Happy Halloween. And honestly, the cover of this is good, but I personally think that the original is better. I wish they would have kept the original, so I'm going to put it in the like tier. Next we have, I believe this is Lower. Uh, I like the instrumentals for Lower a lot more than I like the vocals. Uh, so for that reason, and because the song in my opinion is just okay, we're gonna put it in the neutral tier. Oh, there's so many in the neutral tier, I'm so sorry guys. All right, next we have Hatsune Creation Myth, which is actually my favorite of the harder songs in the game. I like Hatsune Creation Myth a lot, even the through the quick part I can actually really listen to, but I don't think it's enough to go in the strongly liked tier, so we'll just put it in the liked tier. Next we have Alter Ego, and while a lot of people really love this song, I just like it. I do, I like how like, just pounding it is. Uh, I love the way it's sang by BBS, I think they do a great job. But it's not enough to go in strongly like for me, so I'll keep it in like. Next we have Stage of Sekai, which is a great Leonid song. Uh, I think they do a great job with it. I like that it's in the key of G flat. Uh, I believe there's an MV to this, and the MV that I think I'm associating with it, I hope is correct. I think it's great. Uh, I like that they're in the courtyard, and I just, it's really great. <laughs> Sorry, not a lot to say about this song, but I like it, so I'm putting it in the like. Next we have Karakuri Piero, which unfortunately dropped out of my top 10 list, but I still think it's really, really great. Uh, the MV, in my opinion, is the best in the game. I think More More Jump was a perfect group to get this song, even though it's a bit darker. I'm glad it was given to them and not Nightcore, though I'm kind of shocked it wasn't given to Nightcore. I think this is a good song. I, I have always enjoyed listening to it. Uh, and I love the cover. I've never heard the original, but the cover is great. So I'm putting it in strongly like. Next we have Worldwide Wonder. I used to not really like this song because I thought Kaito's inclusion was a little strange with More More Jump, but after listening to it a few times, it kind of grew on me. Uh, and I was like, all right, this is actually great, but I am gonna put it in the like tier. Next we have The Daughter of Evil. And The Daughter of Evil, I think, I mean, I like it. I think it's not something I could listen to over and over, but also at the same time, it fits what it's supposed to portray perfectly. Like you can really imagine a princess in her castle and you can imagine like just a gothic type of thing. And I think that is enough for me to put it in strongly like. Now the Servant of Evil, I like, but not as much as I like the Daughter of Evil. I think it does a great job portraying, but not as good as the Daughter of Evil does, so I'm gonna put it in the likes here. Next we have, oh goodness, I think this is Waltz of the Deceased. Yeah, Waltz of the Deceased. Uh, I don't really like all the accidentals in the song, uh, but other than that, it's good. It's a good waltz. Uh, it, it, it fits what it's supposed to say, but I don't like it. Uh, so because of it fitting so well, I'm gonna put it in neutral. Next we have, oh goodness, I forgot what the title of the song was, excuse me. Uh, I know this is a Miku song though, uh, so I'm gonna have to put it in neutral, unfortunately, because I forgot what the title is, but it does sound good. Next we have Fixer, which I only heard just recently. Fixer, I love the English at the beginning. It kind of makes me imagine kind of like uh, NASA 1969, kind of like space going on. And I like the feel of the song, I like the vibe of it. So for that, I'm going to put it in the like tier. Now, Mirai, a lot of people really, really love. Uh, the same with cinema. I just like it. It's really sweet. Uh, I like that Toya gets a chance to shine. But I don't. I just don't think it's enough to put in strongly like. So I'm going to put it in like. Next, we have Ghost Rule. And Ghost Rule is a song I really, really enjoy. 
Uh, I also like the original of this better than I like the cover, probably just because I've heard the original so many times. But I've always really, really enjoyed the original. So I'm going to put Ghost Rule in like because the cover is still very good. Alright. Next we have Villain, which I think is a great use of <coughs> Mizuki and Mafuyu's high range. <coughs> high ranges, excuse me. Uh, but it's not a song I can like dance to or just listen to a lot. So I'm gonna put it in neutral. Next we have Cinderella's 10th anniversary, and I like that Miku and Kaito are paired together for once. Um, I like that a lot. Uh, though the song personally is not my favorite, but the pairing and the tuning makes the song shine, so I'm gonna put it in the light category. Next we have Shoujo Rei, and this song I think is really, really good. Uh, the ending is great. I love, uh, Shoujo Rei translates to Ghost Girl, if I remember correctly. And the MV for this really fits the song's vibe. The song's vibe just really fits in general. I think it's great. Uh, there are just so many great things about the song, so I'm gonna have to put it in strongly like Next we have Freely Tomorrow, and to be honest, this song is okay to me. Uh, it's not the greatest, but it's also certainly not the worst, so I'm gonna put it in neutral. Next we have Airhead, and boy do I love this song. Uh, Airhead is definitely, <coughs> it's probably my second favorite song in the game. It used to be my favorite, but something that will come later has overtaken it. Um, I really love how like grimy the song is. Uh, a lot of people don't like Lem's inclusion in the song, but I personally think he sounds great. His the use of his lower range is really good, and I just think it's a wonderful addition to the game. I think the cover is oh my goodness, it's just spectacular. I love how laid back and relaxed it is. I'm gonna have to put this in absolutely love. All right, what's next? I know that. Excuse me. This is one of the level 21 experts. I think this is the slower one. Uh, yeah, this is one of the slower ones. Uh, but I like it. It's good. So we're putting it in the light category. Alright, next we have Endmark. And Endmark uh, has no vocals. Uh, it's no, like, main vocals, of course. But... I do genuinely like it. I think it's a good song, uh, despite having no vocals. Uh, I, l I enjoy listening to it. It kind of sounds like an ending. Sounds like an ending theme to an anime. So I'm gonna put it in the light category. Next we have The Emperor. And The Emperor is- I kind of feel the same way about The Emperor as I do about Endmark. So I'm going to put- I'm going to put The Emperor in the same light category. Next we have this song, and, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I forgot what this song was, so I'm gonna put it in neutral, my apologies. Uh, next we have Don't Fight the Music, and this, I think, is just, it's better than both The Emperor and Endmark, uh, out of the three that came out. At that same time, I think Don't Fight the Music is definitely the best one, uh, out of the three. Uh, it does get overpicked, but it is really good. So for that, I'm gonna put it in strongly light. Like. Alright, next we have the theme of Nikori Survey Team. This song is really wholesome and pretty and sweet, but uh, I've just never really been the biggest fan, so sorry Nikori Survey fans, it's going in the neutral term category. Next we have, I'm not gonna try to pronounce this song. Uh, starts with a T. I know it ends with an E. <laughs> I know what the title of it is, but I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. Uh, this is a really good use of Night Court's vocals. I enjoy their singing here. Uh, this is a good song, so I'm gonna put it in the light category. Next we have Heartbeat 0822. This is one of the easier songs in the game, so I really got to listen in and focus on the song itself. I think this is a good more more jump song. Uh, I just like it. It's good. Oh, where is it? Ah, no, come back. <laughs> I hate when that happens, guys. 
Let's put it in the light category. Next we have Use, Use, Use. Uh, I like the yelling kind of the song. This song just sounds so angry. The cover art looks angry, and I like that a lot. Uh, but I don't think it's enough to go in strong with likes, so I'll put it in the like category. Next we have Odo, which is a great use of the Vivid's vocals. Uh, it's very catchy, very, very catchy, very peppy. Uh, so I'm gonna put this- oh my goodness. Okay, not dislike. I'm gonna put it in the like category. Next we have Colorful Marine Snow, and uh, this song features Miku singing way up there in the stratosphere, but uh, I don't really have too much of an opinion on it, so for that I'm putting it in the neutral. Alright, next we have Aishite, Aishite, Aishite. Now I didn't really like this song at first because of how overpicked it was, but I grew to like it. I think the moral of it is really nice. I just think it sounds really nice, but I'm not- it's not my favorite thing ever. So I'm gonna put it in the like tier. And finally, finally I get to talk about Machi. Oh, Machi. I just heard it for the first time last night. I fell completely in love with it. Each member of VBS gets a chance to shine. Reen's tuning is great. The song vibes or itself just give me late summer, just happy friendship vibes. It gives me such a warm feeling inside. I think the song was done perfectly and I can't wait until we get a full version. This is my current favorite song in the game and for that I'm putting it in the absolutely love tier. Next we have Flyer, which is also a BBS song that I really, really like. Uh, this song, this song kind of gives me like on a plane vibes. I mean, no pun intended with the flyer and such, but this kind of gives me, like, travel vibes for some reason. I like the modulation in it. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it's about in total, but I do like it a lot. So for that, I'm putting it in the strongly liked tier. Next we have Peaky Peaky, which I just heard recently. I think this is a really, like, it's cheesy, but it's good. I like it. So I'm gonna put it in the, in the light category. Next we have Judas, and I bet I, like probably many of you, when I first saw this, I was like, Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga? <laughs> Obviously no. Uh, I love the Kaito solo so songs. Uh, I think his tuning is probably one of the best in the game, maybe an unpopular opinion, but I like his tuning a lot. Uh, so for that, I'm putting it in the like category. Next we have this song, which title I forget but I like it. I do like this song. I like, uh, one of the things I like the most about this song is just the, just the, without the vocals. I just like it without the vocals. So for that, I'm gonna put it in the like category. Next we have, oh goodness, is this Heart Forecast? Looks like it. Heart Forecast, uh, a lot of the songs that, uh, One More Jump sings, uh, even though, oh wait, is this Walmart Jump or Leonie? I forget. I just know the song. But, uh, I like it. I, I like how, like, wholesome it is. A lot of the, a lot of these songs with, like, heart or love in the name are really wholesome. And I like that about this. So I'm gonna put it in the like tier. Next we have, oh goodness, I also forget the title of this song, but I played it a lot in co-op, so I know it. Uh, never really been the biggest fan of the song, unfortunately, so I'm putting in the dislike tier. Next we have I'm thinking Miku, Miku, ooh, ooh. and unfortunately, I don't like this song either. Uh, like, the Miku English, what she, the lyrics are a little strange, the ending is a little ominous and creepy, and I just think it could have been done a bit better, though it's not a bad song. So I'll put it in dislike. Next we have Metamo Reborn, which... Everybody is trying to AP, I'm sure, because of how easy the chart is. I think this is a great song. I think it's one of the best use of uh, More More Jumps vocals. I think if I were to do a top 10 More More Jumps songs, this would definitely be on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the like tier. Next we have One Two Fan Club, uh, which is a song I also just heard recently. And uh, I like it. 
it's a good WXS song. It's a uh, great use of the Vocaloid, great use of the, the singers themselves. So for that, I'm gonna put it in the like tier. Next we have this song, and I also forget what the title of this song is, but I think this song is okay. I remember hearing it being like, well, this doesn't really stand out to me, but it's good. So we're gonna put it in the neutral tier. Next we have Luca Luca Night Fever, and honestly, this song slaps. It's so fun to listen to. Uh, it's so fun, the chart is so fun to play. Uh, I like this song a lot. I like the backgrounds, I like Luca's tuning, something in strong length. Next we have 1925, which is a great little flashback from WXS. Honestly, I didn't expect WXS to get this song. I thought BBS would get it, but I like it. I think it sounds really good. So I'm gonna put it in the strongly liked tier. Next we have, is this Starry Sky Orchestra or Starry Sky Melody? I'm pretty sure it's Starry Sky Orchestra. Yeah, okay. So Starry Sky, or Starry Sky Orchestra and Starry Sky Melody, I kinda have the same things to say, so I'm putting them together here. The morals of both songs are really, really great. Uh, and I like that they're WXS songs. Oh, this is 88, my bad. Never mind. Ignore that. <laughs> Ignore that, guys. Okay. Alright, 88 Shooting Stars. I almost got that completely wrong. 88 Shooting Stars. Uh, I love it. Enough said. <laughs> Alright, now we have Starry Sky Melody. Uh, Starry Sky Melody is a... Is a song that WXS sings, and I just... I think it's it's good. It's good. Uh, it's not not really much to say about it since I've only heard it a few times, but it is enough to go in the like tier. Next we have this song, and I forgot exactly what it's called, but I think the key in which the song is in G minor is really nice. Uh, I like the use of the v VBS's vocals. I think they sound good here, though they have sounded a lot better in some other songs, in my opinion. So for that, I'm putting this in the like tier. Next we have Awake Now, which you guys know I absolutely love. Uh, each member sounds incredible, even with uh, the higher ranges and the lower ranges, they all sound really, really good in the song. I love it, and I've told you guys why I loved it in the past, so we'll go ahead and put it in the absolutely loved tier. Next we have this song, which I don't like. Enough said. Next we have Why Why, and I think this song is a little high it's just a little too high for me. Kind of like Marshmary. Uh, it's just not not really listenable in my opinion. So I'm putting in this like. Next we have this song, which is one of the level 21 experts that I played. Uh, I don't really like this song, but it's good. So I'm going to put it in neutral. Next we have Voices, a commissioned Leonid song. I think this is one of the better commissioned Leonid songs that there is. I think it's really good but it's not something that stood out to me, so I'm putting it in the light tier. Next we have Ninja Now. I despise this song. Uh, I'm sorry to those of you who like it, but I hate it. Like, and the lyrics are just so cringy. I just hate it, so it's going in the strongly dislike. Sorry guys, like, genuinely. <laughs> uh, Tera Tera is a good song. It's very upbeat, very catchy. I enjoy it, so I'm putting it in the like. Next we have Amara, uh, and this song kind of struck me as a bit odd at first, but I grew to like it as I continued listening. I think the Vocaloids sound really good here, good use of their tuning, so I'm going to put it in the like tier. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Next we have Copycat. We're down to the home stretch, guys. Copycat is, well it used to be an exclusive, it's not anymore. Copycat is an incredible Gumi song. Uh, I love that it's in English. I love how, what it's about. And the beat is incredible. So we're gonna put it in absolutely love. Next we have What's Up Pop, which is not terrible, but it's not great. So I'm putting it in dislike. Next we have Goodbye. Uh, Goodbye is a good song. It's also in English. Uh, I like Copycat a lot better, but I do like Goodbye. Uh, more for the background instrumentals than for the vocals, so I'll put it in like. 
actually had this song and I forgot what it's called, but I like it. Uh, I love how the cover image, you can kind of visualize the cover image upon listening to it. So I'm putting it in the like category. I just heard Boo recently, and honestly, I really, really enjoy it. Uh, I think it sounds really good. I like the More More Jump. It, it kind of gives you like a them cooking together kind of vibe, at least it does for me. Uh, I think it's great, but I don't think it's enough to go in strongly like, so put it in like. Next we have, uh, I believe this is Where Shall We Go. The Reen and Land combo here is the bomb. It's perfect. I love it. Uh, I love that they get to sing a song that's not super upbeat for once. Uh, I think this is a good one, but I don't think it's enough to go in strongly like, so put it in like. Alright, six more to go, guys. Next we have Q. And Q, uh... I don't really totally enjoy that much. Uh, I'm kind of neutral on this song, honestly. There's not much to say about it. Next we have this song here. This, uh, Yaminabe. Uh, ha, ha. This is the super hard song. Uh, okay. Uh, I wish the song wasn't so difficult to play, but it's a good it's a good one to listen to. I like Miku's face. Like she knows that it's a difficult song, so I'm gonna put it in like. Now we have Egoist, which just came out recently. Uh, my favorite part of this is that we get to hear Akito's low range for once. That is very, very rare occurrence, but I like it a lot. Um, it's super good. Uh, so I'm gonna have to put it in strongly like. Next we have 39, which there's not really much to say about it. I kind of feel the same about it as I do about 39 music. So we're gonna put it in the, did I put 39 music in like? I think I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Next we have Mr. Showtime. I love the jazzy swung feel of this song. Good WXS song. Good pick for them. So I'm going to put it in the light category. And last but not least, we have this song. Uh, this is one of the harder songs, but the minor key it's in kind of makes it stand out to me. I think the vocals are done really well. So we're going to put it in the light category. Well, there you have it. There is my Project Sekai tier list up to date. Uh, show category by category here. Here we are. Only three that I strongly dislike, thankfully. So many songs in this game are just so great. Well, thank you everyone so much for watching if you've made it this far. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Really helps me out, really helps the channel out, but this is a just for fun channel. Again, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.